uh, we tried to go for a local beer, but they didn't have any, so uh, I chose Fat Tire, which is uh, um, a new Belgium uh, uh, brewery uh, out of Colorado who actually uh, helped, uh, they did a screening of Urban Roots. Uh, we have a lot of breweries that are getting behind Urban Roots and doing screenings at breweries around the country. Because in the film we feature a brewery that shows uh, how to give, they give their um, brew waste to urban farmers that they in return can use it for compost. passionate about Detroit, that's where I'm from, yeah, it's an amazing city and the media gives Detroit a really bad rap, they, they tend to um, really show the negative side of Detroit, they never show the positive side and that's, and that's where this film uh, came from. Urban Roots is a documentary film that's based around the urban farming movement that is taking place in Detroit uh, right now. I was in Detroit, some friends of mine wanted me to meet uh, some urban farmers, they wanted me to do a film, and I sat down with these urban farmers, and I knew right away that this was an amazing story, and amazing people doing great things to uh, better their communities. Brother Nature, who's an urban farmer, has his, you know, he, he took over these abandoned lots and he, he you know, quit his day job as a teacher and now he's making a, a living off of growing his own food from abandoned lots. So he's cleaned up the lots, he's growing his own food, and he's now, you know, sustaining his own, uh, he has his own green business, which is called Brother Nature's Produce. There's Brother Nature, there's, uh, the D-Town Farms, which is, you know, an organization that, you know, they do a lot of great things within the community. They help the kids learn about urban farming. There's Earthworks Urban Farm that actually takes part of some of the stuff they grow, a lot of the stuff they grow, and they bring it to their soup kitchen, which is the Capucin Soup Kitchen. So, so individuals uh, that are in need of food can eat healthy, fresh food that, you know, is good for them. Myrtle and Wayne Curtis from uh, and and all the other urban farmers in Detroit are are the most important people you know in food because you know they're on the front lines they're the ones who are up before the sun rises they're the ones that are you know not doing the interviews because they're out farming I mean that's what's so great about them they're doing this because they're really passionate about it and you don't see them and they're but they're the ones that are really making uh, a difference. Detroit and cities like Detroit, uh, for Akron, for example, cities that have actually lost uh, population. Um, America has, has never, you know, the United States has really never seen this before. We're so used to growing and being big and being great, but now cities are actually declining in population. So, with that said, you know, urban farming is, is a great solution to fill in the gaps of abandoned, you know, uh, of abandoned lots and. Uh, and it's, it's a way to, you know, an urban planning issue to, to bring back a city. Politicians tend to think in short terms, you know, because they, they, need, they need action right away so they are relevant, so they can get their votes, so they can stay in office, right? Farmers, they think in year five to ten years, twenty years down the road. So, and that, to me, is the, the best thing you could do when you're thinking about how to bring back a city. They're not looking for the quick fix. They're not looking to put a Band-Aid on, you know, Detroit. They're like, how can we make this a sustainable city? Would you believe and try what... I've always been a fan of uh, The Eleventh Hour, and not only just the film is a great film, but um, they have an action campaign that is connected to their films. Um, when the 11th hour came out, it was about global warming. They didn't just make a film and, you know, hey, we made a film about global warming. They gave back. They started an action campaign where you could go to their website, you could learn about how you could get involved in your community. So they're all about change. It's not just about making a film and look at what we did. And with that said, we started an action campaign with Urban Roots, which is really exciting. The film is finished, it's screening all over the country, but what we wanted to do is uh, figure out a way to give back. And Tree Media and myself decided that we're going to donate part of the DVD proceeds to putting farms in schools across America. So we have a school in Los Angeles, the Gar Los Angeles, the Garfield High School, where Jaime Escalante went uh, from Stand and Deliver. And then we just signed on today, we partnered with the Bob Educational Center, 
that's a school that's being built right now in Detroit. So we'll be putting a film in that school as well. So it's all about you know making the film and then attaching some form of action. And you'll be able to go to our website and get information on how you can get involved. Some help from you and me. In Los Angeles, uh, there's a really there's a good place over in Silver Lake called Forage, and they try to get uh, a lot of their food within a uh, hundred mile radius. They support urban farmers, and uh, and in Detroit, I mean, there's there's a lot of great restaurants in Detroit, but you know, there's uh, Slow Foods Barbecue, there's Sapino's Pizza, which Sapino's is featured in our film, and they take uh, a lot of like, basil from Brother Nature, and then they you know put it on the pizzas. So it's all about supporting. Each other. Food just tastes better when uh, it's not coming from a thousand miles away. Think of you. The people, you know, 100%, the, the farmers, and you'll see in the film, and you'll see if you ever get a chance to go to Detroit and meet the urban farmers of Detroit. They're so, you know, they're so passionate, they're so resilient, they're so, you know, educated on all these topics, and it's like, you talk to them, and it's just, you know, it's an amazing you know, opportunity. I'm, I'm so grateful that they let me come in and film and ask questions, and I've learned so much, and yeah, that's, so the urban farmers have definitely inspired me to make this film.